Hello and welcome back to Exit Corners. Today we're going to play chapter 23, which is called Shatter. Oh, the last episode was so good because we found out some information, we bonded with a character, and then it just ended on a giant cliffhanger. And I need to know what's happened. I'm worried about Ray. I'm worried about Beth. Is everybody dead? And now I wonder, did, um... How much our choices might have made a difference in things? Like, if, say, right? If we'd have left the pills with Ray, would Ray have taken the pills? Because he seriously seemed like he was going to take the pills. If he'd have then killed himself, not had his arm chopped off, would Beth survive because she's less stressed? And not just collapse dead? Or has he just murdered her? I don't think so. What's happening? Maybe she's hemorrhaged like the rest of us. Don't know. Don't know. Let's find out. Shatter. Everything shattered. I feel like at least this chapter title tells us things already. We don't need to guess. Previously on Exit Corners. Yes, please. Quick recap though, please. I refuse to believe it. I finally confronted Lysa about her secret. She was ve vehemently against sharing her secret with me. Not surprising, but the reason why was news to me. She was being blackmailed. If she told anyone her secret, Scent would issue some sort of penalty, which she also conveniently couldn't elaborate on. I thought I'd hit a dead end, but then I found a bit of a loophole in the rules. If I figured out her s secret myself, Scent would stay... Scent would stay his hand. I don't know what that means. Metaphorically, he doesn't have actual hands. So, wholly unprepared, I attempted to figure out the mystery behind Liza's secret. And somehow, I managed. I just had to look at all of the clues and piece everything together. So get this. Liza was blind before she woke up in the four elements. Also, right, what did length isn't definite mean? I don't see how that relates to being blind. Okay. I mean literally blind, by the way. Not some kind of metaphor. When she woke up this morning, she could see again. I specify again because apparently she could see when she was very young. An accident of some kind robbed her of her sight. Scent left her a note telling her to keep quiet about it or else she'd go blind again. So yeah, in retrospect, I totally understand why she didn't share this with the rest of us. We talked about her newfound sight for a time. Unsurprisingly, it means a lot to her. She's super excited to get out of here. This is so emotional to me as well because like... Going blind is probably one of my biggest fears. Uh, so yeah, imagine like getting your sight back. That's huge. But Liza's blindness isn't what has me in disbelief. When we went to rejoin the others, we were met with solemn faces. I thought that Ether had been crying over us being lost, but nope. I could feel that something awful had happened. Suspecting the worst, I darted through the blue door, crossed a number of rooms. And that's when I found Beth. Uh oh, Ink barely recognised her. Here we go. She always had a certain sharpness about her. Happy, sad or even annoyed, you could count on seeing the glimmer of understanding in her cool blue eyes. Between her pallid skin and the way her face flattened against the floor, Ink knew that that glimmer was gone forever. Ink had never seen a corpse in person before. He approached with trepidation, neither wanting to leave nor to get too close to the body. Why? That's so sad. Okay, so, right, let's assess for a second. There's glass all over the floor. The um, lamp is knocked over. She's face down. 
she just fall there? Like drop down dead? He tiptoed around what appeared to be shards of glass in an attempt to get a better look at her. We could put her on the bed or something. Was it curiosity that drove him to examine the body? The desire to act brave? He himself did not know. Ink failed to hold back tears as he crouched down next to her. He threw his head into his hands and wept. What are you doing, Ink? Get out of there! What? Liza? You can't stay in here. Come on. Liza yanked Ink upright before he could protest then dragged him back into the hall. But, I know Ink, I know, but we can't just waltz in there without knowing what happened. That's true. Right, hold on, first of all, we've got some questions to ask. Second of all, what, what picture was on the wall there? What is this hole? What is happening here? Was this here all the time? There's like crummies on the table. Is this where the sword was? I don't know. No, because there wasn't a table. And an... Oh, unless it got moved to like pick it up. I don't know. To reach it. Um. Okay. We do need to find out what happened. Also, that is a crime scene, so maybe we shouldn't tamper with it. If this was res the result of a trap, then, well, wouldn't... We wouldn't want the same thing to happen to us, right? Why is nobody telling us what happened? Why did they just let us go in there like that? And shame on the rest of you for letting him in here before telling us what happened. Exactly. Also, poor Liza. She got a, eye, a sight back for one day. She's already seen a dead body. Yeah, well, we didn't expect him to run right in here like some kind of maniac detective. Well, what else? I would, right, on the record, I would have done exactly the same thing. If people aren't going to tell me straight up what has happened, I'm not waiting for people to friggin' tiptoe and try and tell me. I just want to know, you know? Ink didn't appreciate the comment, but decided against stirring the pot any further. Smart boy. Why is Sean being such a douche lately? So this was the lovebirds he was talking about. I did wonder... Because Tiana was missing, and, and I wondered, like, lovebirds? Uh, so Ray is up and about again. He cleared his throat as he heard Ray and Tiana enter the hallway. Good, everyone's here. Are the rest of you okay? Don't want to say oh, we're fine, but we're alive at least. Tiana and I were looking for you. Did we miss anything? Where do you two run off to, anyway? Ink and I were in one of the earlier rooms. We missed this whole thing. We can talk about that later. I want to know what happened to Beth. About that. None of us actually saw what happened. What? Seriously? Yeah. Then who found the body? Me. I just walked in and found her like this. You weren't with her? Or Ray? I was trying to rest in that room right there, so this wasn't Ray's room. Ray motioned to one of the rooms at the front of the hall. Beth thought it'd be a good idea for me to lie down, so... And I feel like he would have left blood everywhere, you know? Okay, sure. What about you, Ether? I was... Oh god, why didn't she say anything? Again, Ether trailed off, her eyes meeting the floor. How are you, Ether? Get your sentences out. Come on, Ether, now's not the time for you to be staring off into space. I need you to pick it up a bit. Ether burst into tears and wailed. Girl just found a body, for Christ's sakes. Give her a moment to breathe, at least. Well, how long ago did it happen? We don't have any moments to spare, Sean, and if we don't get to the bottom of what happened to Beth, the same thing might happen to us. I agree with um, Liza on this one. 
Aether clasped onto the nearby end table, kicking up some dust. This is, this is, yeah, what's come off the wall, right? What's the deal with that? I noticed that, why? Okay, hold herself to her feet. Uh, I'm okay, Sean. You don't sound okay. I'm a little overwhelmed and scared, but I still want to help. And Liza's right, we're running low on time. Could it have... You know, um... When... The... The charge got set off, the... That'll have felt like an earthquake. Maybe it gave her a heart attack. If she was on her own. You know what I mean? Okay, so after Ink left us, Beth and I were in this hallway, right? The door at the end of the hall is locked, so we decided to search these rooms and try to find its corresponding puzzle. After checking up on Ray, of course. Makes sense. I feel like she might have had a heart attack when the charge went off, because that felt like an earthquake. She took the rooms on the right side of the hallway while I took the ones on the left. Looks like it was on the right. Beth must have entered first then. Looks like what was on the right. Oh, yeah. I got to the last room on the left and hadn't found it, so I headed back into the hallway and called out to Beth. She never responded, so I started searching the rooms on the right myself, starting with the last room on the right and working my way back. And then I got to the fourth door on the right, and you found Beth. Yeah, I started freaking out. I heard a screaming at this point and came out of my room. You weren't sleeping, I guess? Couldn't. But even if I had been, I'd have woken up for sure. Anyway, I found Aoife in the hall and then saw the body myself right after. I did my best to help calm her down. I'm glad you showed up when you did, Ray. How long would you say it was between you and Beth splitting up to search and you finding her body? Six or seven minutes, maybe? Six or seven minutes. There are only six doors on either side, so that's putting you at nearly a minute per room searched. Is there something I'm missing here? Oh, that's right, I nearly forgot. Part the way through my search, the floor started shaking like crazy. Yes. I had a bit of a fall and had to take a moment to catch my breath. Not sure if you all experienced the same thing. Oh, we felt that too. What was the deal with that earthquake anyway? That was my bad. I can explain later. I just caused an earthquake, but you know, trust me. <laughs> but first, Ether, Relative to your searching of the rooms, when did the quake go off? It happened when I was searching the last room on the left, actually. I see. Hey, Sean, Tiana. Yes? Where were you two when all this was happening? We were still in the Blackwing, trying to solve a puzzle. The answer's like... iron or something. You said you were gonna come back for us, but you never did. Ether and Ray came looking for us eventually. More specifically, she was looking for you, Ink, but you and Liza were nowhere to be found. Shit. So then we split up to look for the two of yous, and then, well, here we are. Oh, that is bad that that happened right when we were doing this as well. So right, if the, the shaky floor was also enough to knock Ether off her feet, it's enough to knock Beth off her feet too. I didn't see any signs that she'd banged her head, but glass everywhere. Don't know. Here we are. So, what now? We keep moving, that's what. But Beth, what do you want us to do? Bury her? Our first course of action should be to figure out how she died so that we don't fall for the same thing. I'm having a look at the body then. That's crazy how you can just go from it being a person to the body. That's always something that scares me. Um, 
Can you do that from out here? Not to put yourself at risk? Not really. She's mostly obstructed by the bed. I need to get closer. Dude, I'm with Liza. It could be dangerous to go in there. There's no avoiding that room though. We're gonna need to solve the puzzle in there at some point, right? Oh, the puzzle's in there? Oh, yeah it is. Oh shit, okay. True enough. Ah, oh, I hate it, but you're right. Let's be smart about it at least. Well, we can prop the door open. Lift her up onto the bed and solve the puzzle. That's what I think. What do you mean? I mean, let's not send everyone into a possible death trap at once. We'll send one person into the room. Two tops. I'll do it. Would you let me finish? Your, prior your priority is to figure out what the trap is and determine how Beth died. I'll see if I can find anything out of the ordinary. Oh, and one more thing. Do not touch the puzzle under any circumstances. Don't even look at it. <laughs> what if it's like... Uh, one of those horror movies where if you see it, you're cursed. <laughs> we should probably hold the door open too, just in case. Might as well be me, even. It's all I'm good for at this point. I feel like someone else should do it and you should lie down again, Ray. God. Wouldn't hurt, I guess. But come on, don't say stuff like that. There was a lull. Ink looked about the room. Did anyone want to tag along with me? I don't want to risk it. Sorry. Okay, now I at least appreciate her honesty. <laughs> it's cool if no one wants to. It's safer that way. Ah, uh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Tiana? Don't give me that look. I just want out of this hellhole. Whatever your reasons, I appreciate it. Careful, you two. Don't worry about me. I'm, tough, I'm tougher than I look. Trust me. You look plenty tough as it is. <laughs> Thanks, Ether. Keep an eye out for us, okay? I'll watch over you from the hallway. Sound good? Much appreciated. Hmm, I'm still curious about that wall. Taking a deep breath, Ink pushed past Tiana and stepped into the hotel room. Ink was careful to avoid stepping on any glass as he approached Beth's corpse. Watch your step, Tiana. I might just hop on the bed and avoid having to manoeuvre around this mess altogether. Before we do anything, let's try and identify what the trap actually is. The bed could be rigged with something. I'm really not convinced there's a trap. When do you get so bossy? When one of us was killed, that's when. We are Mr. Serious right now. Ink diverted his, att attention, uh, diverted his attention to the walls and ceiling. Hmm. Can you spot anything unusual about the walls? Maybe a hidden panel or some mechanical component? Hard to tell, but it looks normal enough to me. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Ink locked her out once more for good measure. He knocked the wall a few times and, following a heart pounding low, sighed in relief. No obvious surprises in the walls here. Where'd all this glass come from? That's true, where did the... Was the glass... I was just assuming... It was a drink glass. Ink followed up by checking under the bed for anything out of place, but again, came up empty. We haven't been attacked with anything yet. Maybe it's safe? Liza could be right. The trap may only go off when someone attempts the puzzle. Is that normally how these work? It's about par for the course, yeah. Though, I think we should stay vigilant, just in case. Let's have a look at the body, then. Gingerly, Ink followed Tiana's lead, cleared away some glass, and knelt down beside the corpse. Like, the glass might just be from the, the light shade? The lamp? 
His first instinct was to tug at Beth's sleeve. There was, of course, no response. He wasn't even sure why he tried it, but the absence of any sort of reaction sent a shiver up his spine. Ink reached out to lift her head up from the floor, but withdrew his hand almost immediately. He only then realised the prospect of seeing Beth's lifeless face horrified him. What are you doing? Do you even know what you're looking for? Ink's reply was nothing more than a blank stare. If you're too afraid to touch it, then you might as well go wait outside. Tiana, just give me a second here, please, lady. It took all of Ink's willpower to not go off on her right then and there. Do it, Ink. More than suggesting he leave, it was the fact she'd referred to Beth as it instead of her that upset Ink beyond his own comprehension. It's just fucking rude. Unless she knows something that we don't. And Beth was in fact an alien. <laughs> Tiana, oblivious to Ink's ire, continued to poke around the body. Here, look. Tiana parted Beth's bun to the side and bun to the side and motioned to the body's grey, lifeless neck. Ink moved to get a better look. A light splotch of mauve was just barely visible at the base of Beth's nape. Is this what killed her? Possibly. I'm not a coroner or anything, but this is the only mark in our injury that stuck out to me. What is it? I'd have expected a fatal bruise to be bigger than that. It doesn't take much when it's a blow to the back of the head. Maybe she fell... Hmm. Maybe she just fell? I'm just trying to think. Maybe she fell backwards. Hit her neck off there. And then fell forwards? But that, that wouldn't make sense. Maybe there is a trap. Why is there a square around? Oh, because of the light shade. <laughs> Besides, bruises ca are caused by blood throwing through bursted blood vessels. No blood flow, no bruising. Or less bruising, at the very least. Nodding weakly, Ink busied himself with trying to find a clue of his own. On his own. An air of desecration sank down on him as he lifted the body's outstretched arm. She's heavy. A body's always this heavy? They are. Dead weight, isn't it? Why am I even thinking this? What the fuck is wrong with me? That's entirely normal, I would think. Ink. Tiana appeared to be doing the same thing with Beth's legs. Ink noticed the lack of glass underneath the body. So the glass broke after she was already on the ground. After a long moment of silence, Tiana stood up. You done? I think that's all we're going to find here. Let's head back. Okay. Ink scanned the room one more time, cursing his own ineptitude. Damn, I guess you're right. Carefully. What if... What if someone hit her in the back of the neck with the lamp? No, because the glass would have landed on the floor. Hmm. Yeah, carefully the pair tiptoed past the many shards of glass. What if it was Ether? What if Ether's a murderer? And back out into the hall. Everything alright? Yes, we found all we can for now. Going in there was risky. I'm glad you're okay. Everyone's so insistent on it being a trap. What if that's to cover up a murder? How often is the detective sidekick the murderer? Because I would totally read that story. That's a cool idea. It's like I said, you can't kill off the detective before he solves any mysteries. I probably should have tagged along with you. Hey, don't worry about it. So, what do you find? Not a lot, unfortunately. We couldn't spot the trap at a glance. 
There wasn't any blood on the floor, so we can rule out the exit corner's bug as cause of death. A blow to the back of the head is what did her in. Oh my god, Tiana! Use better words! That's enough to kill someone? You'd be surprised just how fragile humans are when it comes down to it. Was she hit? Oh. I'm thinking Scent shot something blunt at the base of her neck. I don't buy it. Why would he do that? Shot? What do you mean? Oh, did you not reach the same conclusion? Maybe shot isn't the right word, but... Whatever hit her, it had to have been fast, otherwise she'd have turned around to face it. So putting two and two together, I think she was shot with something blunt. Oh, I'm so, like, I'm so suspicious all of a sudden of everything. I don't buy that something was shot at her, I, because we'd, we'd see a mechanism. Either someone hit her or she fell and hit it. Wouldn't we have found it? The object she was so shot with, I mean. Oh yeah, and that. Well, I don't have a perfect explanation for that, but I suspect that all or part of it was shattered. Oh, that's the glass on the floor. Okay. Okay. Is it possible someone tampered with the scene? Intentionally or even unintentionally? It'd be easy for something to get shuffled around if people kept coming in and out of the room. Eva, any insight? My memory isn't perfect, but I'm pretty sure the room hasn't changed significantly since I first found her. Damn, there goes that lead. Say, has anyone checked the washroom? Is it even open? Whoa, there's bathrooms in this place? I didn't catch that. Could you try again? <laughs> Um, I think so. All the hotel rooms have two doors in them. One leads to the hallway and the other... Sorry, I'm still not sure about... Oh that. my god, Siri, piss off. Shush. I won't respond to that. Good. <laughs> Jesus. And then when I want him to listen to what I've said, he doesn't listen. Okay. Is a washroom... Is a washroom, presumably, but I don't think anyone's ever opened a door to one. That's news to me. Why has no one ever been in one? The one in the room I woke up in was locked. Same here. The bathrooms in the other rooms we visited were locked too. Eventually I stopped checking. Has no one been to the bathroom in this entire time? Weird. And who knows? Maybe they're not even bathrooms. I might as well check this one just in case. I was kidding. Why does that matter anyway? It's probably just locked, right? Sean, could you like could you get on my nerves anymore? This episode? Like, we're looking for clues, my dude. I thought you were fucking smart. No harm in checking. Yeah, I should have figured as much. She's locked, alright. So, where does that leave us? I don't know. We still don't have a good idea of how Beth died. If we don't know what hit her on the back of the head, then we won't know how to prevent the same thing from happening to us. Right. Anyone have any ideas? What's bothering me is that I have no idea where this blunt glass object could have come from. I didn't notice any kind of mechanism on any of the walls. My first thought is that something fell from the ceiling and hit her, but I don't know, that seems pretty unlikely. She'd have to be standing in the exact right spot. Like, could the whatever light shade is on the ceiling have fallen when, when the earthquake happened? You're an engineer, right Sean? Any insight on how this might be possible? Who, me? Maybe she, uh... Oh, here's one. Maybe there was a crystal ball held to the ceiling with dry ice and then, like, the dry ice melted and the crystal ball fell on her. And she didn't notice it at all because she was like 100 and her vision and hearing sucked. Oh my god, I'm ready to smack the shit out of these new people. Like, 
Have some fucking respect. <laughs> uh. The contestants all froze and stared at Sean, mouths agape. What is happening with Sean? Oh, maybe she just had a heart attack and the glass on the floor is completely unrelated. Okay. Okay, so you, you're you not getting back into my fucking good books by saying my own theory now. Fuck you, Sean. Are these serious suggestions? Uh, sort of. That's an absolute horseshit theory. Dry ice doesn't even melt. It sublimates. Sublimates. I don't know, man. This is some corner case shit. Pun not intended. I thought you was some kind of engineering whiz. I mostly put the gin in engineer, you get me? This has got to infuriate Ray so much that, like, he got fucked out of the university and then Sean's in there just being twat. Someone is dead. Wipe that fucking grin off your face. Chill. Just trying to add some levity here. You fucking chill, Sean. Fuck off. Go somewhere else. The hell you are. Shut your goddamn mouth. I may not have known Beth that well. None of us did. But she fought her hardest to, hardest to get us out alive. I'm not going to let you shit on her final moments and try to be funny. Thank you, Ray. This is why I like you. We're on a similar wavelength. Wisely, Sean remained quiet. Shut up, Sean. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I never realised Ray thought so fondly of Beth. Saving someone's life will do that, I guess. Exactly. She saved his life and looked after him until she died, like... Good. So what are we doing now? Are we gonna take our chances in that room? I think we should. I'd still like to try and figure out how she died before attempting the puzzle, but... But we don't know enough. I don't know what to do. Is it safe to go in there? If only I had a bit more time. Ink. I know, I know. We don't have much time. Feels like someone's been telling me that every two minutes. I don't want to send people to what might be their deaths, but having them wait around while I try and solve this might be just as bad. How do I handle this? <gasps> Choices? No. <laughs> so, idea. I'm all ears. Shoot. Why don't we do the other side first? The black wing. Oh. A little smoke aside, it seems safe enough. And if we do another path first, it might give you the time you need to figure out what killed Beth. Okay, now that is actually quite a good... That's not... I was just going to send everyone in. I was like, we don't have time for this. It may have been an accident. We can just send... Like... And, right, we're looking at it wrong. It's not us sending people into their, their deaths, right? Everyone can make their own choice here. Even if we just get one person on the puzzle, they can read it out loud and everyone can help from outside. Or, everyone goes in together in a big circle and is a meat shield for me. That would work. Sean and I were making some headway on figuring out the next puzzle there too, so... Ah! Tiana. I'm fine. Just give me a second. The blood. The hemorrhage. It's happening again. Hmm. Hmm. You thinking about heading back to the Black Wing? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Would we all be going, or would you want to stay back and keep looking around here? Beth, um, she wanted us all to stick together. It's one of the last things she told us, remember? Yeah, I remember. Okay then, if no one has any objections, we're going to head back to the Black Wing for now. I'll keep thinking about the trap here and see if I can't think of a way around it. If that's what you think's best, man, I trust you. Fuck off, Sean. Let's head back then. Follow me, y'all. Sean led the way back to the main hall. The other contestants followed shortly thereafter. 
purposefully lagging behind them, Ink pulled out his Gemini as he crossed over into the previous room. Ooh, what are we gonna ask? Why? Okay, that is like the most concise but apt question. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. Why kill Beth? I'm very sorry, Ink. I didn't want it to come to this. Why did she have to die? I am afraid, Ink. Of course you just regurgitate some non-answer for the umpteenth time. It's the truth, my love. Beth died in part because I was scared. See, right. Because I was scared. Is it because they set off? No. Fear is a paralytic, but it keeps us alive. Stop jerking me around. I want a straight answer. You were the one who contacted me, were you not? Surely you must have known how this conversation would unfold. Unfortunately for, bo for us both, fear begets silence. You're a machine. Don't tell me you can actually feel fear because I'm not buying it. I may be an AI, but I can fear just as easily as I can love. Oh no, don't. Scent has a lot to learn about tact. So what are you afraid of then? Slow download, shitty drivers? For all our differences, Inc., our fears are rather similar. I highly doubt that. Do you not fear being unloved? Do you not fear those with power who ascribe you a role? Hmm. Does that mean whoever is... Whoever created him or whoever is conducting all of this Scent is scared of them because they have the power to like unplug them? Do you not worry that your own thoughts are less than genuine? What would you know about that? When I am afraid, or happy, or upset, I am the way of my own volition. I am that way of my own vol- am I? Oh my god, I'll try that again. <laughs> when I am afraid, or happy, or upset, am I that way of my own volition? Or have I simply been programmed to feel that way? The line between genuine and fabricated blurs and I am horrified to find that I cannot trust my own emotions. I would hate to learn that my thoughts are not, in fact, my own. Sound familiar, Ink? What if we're an AI and we don't even know it? Furious and exhausted, Ink put the Gemini into sleep mode. Uh, he was already in a dismal mood. He didn't need scent dredging up more misery. I should never have messaged him. Why am I always so stupid? So we totally got non-answers there. Beth died because scent is scared. Does that mean that scent was instructed to do something? I don't know. Is it because of the love thing? Was Beth going to get in the way of that? Uh, we must remember we have that letter that Beth writ, and I would like to read that, like, right now. He took the device into his pocket as he entered the Black Wings' first hallway. Hey, everything okay? You don't look so great. Yeah, a lot's happened. Which room's the puzzle in? Actually, Sean and Tiana already solved the puzzle for this room. The next one's in the bar coming up. You might want to cover your mouth with your shirt. Come on. Why? Oh, the smoke. Yeah, we did hear about the smoke. Ink can help but cough and hack immediately upon entering the room. Smoke? Hey, puzzle's over there if you were wondering. Fuck off, Sean. <laughs> Thanks. Damn, this smoke is making it hard to breathe. 
You said you've been working on this puzzle before, right, Sean? It was... Was it like the last time you were in here? Yeah, unfortunately. It's not the most pleasant, but don't worry. Tiana and I were in here for at least 20 minutes and don't seem to be suffering any long-term effects. Seems like the door's unlocked too. Small relief. I wonder if anyone's been in a fire. This is playing on someone's fears. Also, how they were in here for 20 minutes and they were alright, breathing in smoke. I don't like that. Uh, still, we best not linger here too long. Let's solve this puzzle as quickly as we can. Can agree to that. Let's get the hell out of here. Puzzle time. Didn't you say the answer is something like iron? There we go. Okay. The answer is iron. Iron. Like, um... Is iron an element? Does it have a symbol? I'm gonna Google it. Because I don't know. Iron. Element. Iron is the chemical element with the symbol Fe and atomic number 26. Fe. We could make an Fe out of that. That almost looks like an E. Uh, well that also looks like an E. Okay, how do we do this then? Why are these... Right. Right. E. Let's just flip these around a little bit. E. F. F. E. Holy shit. So I know that like Google helped me there, but still. <laughs> I don't care. Um, remember how I said that screen looks different? I actually got told it's because we are no longer wearing our scarf. Which makes all of the sense and I think is a really neat little detail. Um, that I didn't notice myself, but I'm glad it was pointed out. So that was it. Ah, of course. Ink has the periodic symbol. Ink, not ink. <laughs> Iron has the periodic symbol, F-E. Looking at it now, I doubt those tiles could have made much else. Let us seem pretty obvious in retrospect. Can this wait till we're out of the smoke box? I feel like I'm just about ready to keel over. Tiana's right. Not sure what the deal with this smoke is, but I don't want to end up like Beth. Get her name out of your mouth, you silly little boy. Get your head out of the clouds, Ink. Come on. Fuck off, Sean. Go. <laughs> You've made an enemy out of me, you inconsiderate bastard. Okay. Ink covered his mouth and reached for the door. He couldn't help but chew on Sean's words. His friend was right. Even during the puzzle, Ink had been somewhat distracted. A different puzzle was on the forefront of his mind. Beth. How exactly had she died? If her death goes unsolved, someone else might die. I need to figure that out before we head back into the blue wing. So we're going to keep that on our mind. Things just aren't adding up. I don't want to think about the possibility, but... There could be another explanation for Beth's death entirely. Murder? An irritating, incessant nagging picked at ink. The whole situation with Beth felt wrong, incomplete somehow. A wayward thought at the back of his mind was telling him he was missing something important. And no, I was not referring to me. What? What does that mean? And no, I was not referring to me. I was missing something important. What? Okay. So that chapter was called Shatter, and now I guess we know why, because of the glass, um, being shattered. So right, 
hypothetically, you get hit in the back of the neck by a blunt glass object hard enough to kill you. Smashes on impact. Yeah, as you fall down forwards, the glass isn't going to end up underneath you, is it? No. But you would think it might cut you as well. Or maybe not, because it shatters after it's hit you, I guess. Hmm. I don't know what I think. But the potential. I don't think. Scent didn't deny it, but also we don't know what sense allowed and not allowed to say. It just feels wrong that it was just a trap. Um, like nothing's been unavoidable like that. Uh, we've always had time, but I guess we'll just figure it out later because I don't have any explanation right now. All right, the next chapter is called Down in the Dumps. Um, that sounds sad. <laughs> Still, I mean, we're all down in the dumps. We just had a death. Also though, oh no, why does death rhyme with Beth? Um, maybe we're gonna go into a, a garbage room, like a dump. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe we are just going to be sad. I don't know. But chapter 24 is coming up next. I hope you enjoyed chapter 23. I certainly did. Um, and I will catch you next time for some more Exit Corners. Thank you very much. Goodbye.